Now, two thieves are still on the run after stealing 17th century Swedish crown jewels from a cathedral in Strängnäs on Tuesday. Two priceless crowns and an orb were stolen around midday by two men who subsequently made their getaway in a boat. A search for the thieves involving helicopters and boats was quickly launched, but they have yet to be found. Now, one man who saw the thieves escaping described the moment that they got away. The boat was there, a white little boat with an outboard motor on the back. The two men hurriedly jumped on board and it sped off in that direction over that way. And we then contacted the police and told them and they told us that uh, they had taken something from the cathedral. Well, joining me now to tell us more is Karin Moberg-Granstrom, a journalist from the Swedish news channel Afton Bladet. Thank you, Karin, for joining us today. So two crowns and an orb have been stolen. Can you just tell us how important uh, these crown jewels are? They're very important. They're, as you know, they're from the 16, the 17th century. They're from 1611, which means that they're older than 400 years. Um, and they belong to Charles IX and Queen Christina the Older. And they were actually uh, never worn by the royalties. They were made for the burial uh, regalia. So they're actually art relics, uh, but they're covered with gold, with jewels, with pearls, and they're quite um, invaluable because they're pretty much impossible to sell, which means that this was probably a commissioned job. That's actually, that's what expert, crime experts are telling us. Uh, this is, of course, not confirmed right now since no one actually has been arrested. Yeah, and I think Swedish people are quite attached to, to these crown jewels as well. So what about uh, looking for those men? What is the next step uh, in the search and why is it so difficult actually? Uh, it's difficult because, as you know, they actually jumped into a boat in, in, next to Strängnäs and uh, in the Stockholm area. There are a lot of lakes uh, surrounding the area, which means that they could get pretty much anywhere. And they actually, what is new that, uh, that we know of is that they jumped on two ladies' bikes uh, from the cathedral and went down to the water, jumped into a small motorboat, and there was uh, a manhunt yesterday, but no one has been arrested so far. Uh, yesterday, the, ca the cathedral was closed and there were technicians working on it and trying to secure some evidence from the heist. And hopefully they got something. Uh, nothing is confirmed yet. So uh, they're still looking for these people. They have no one uh, that is arrested right now, but the man goes, goes on. And of course, this is the um, this is priceless and, and it's quite a difficult heist because the bishop is really upset, calls it a, an emotional uh, heist. Right. And this was like really a big deal.